So hello, welcome to the Get Connected video training. This will be a tutorial on how to navigate the new Get Connected interface for your organization by registering your organization, managing your own page, managing your org roster, and creating an event on Get Connected for an event that your organization is hosting. Get Connected is the primary platform that student involvement uses to register, recognize, and maintain all organizations at Mason and for students to keep track of their involvement on campus. So, let's get started. This is the new interface of Get Connected. It's a new and exciting way to look at events, organizations, and your profile. But don't worry, many things are still the same. They just look a little bit different. Click Sign In and use your Mason Net ID and password. You will see at the top the organizations that you're involved in. These will be listed in addition to how to discover other organizations. You can also scroll down to see the events that are happening on campus. In addition to any news, it is important as a Mason student, student organization member, and student leader that your profile is as full as possible. It's super easy. All you have to do is click on your name and then click on settings. Some of the information will already be filled in, but you have an opportunity to really show other Mason students who you are. It is extremely important that you upload a picture. It will not only benefit you, but also your student organization. We will show you why later. All you have to do is click on this Choose File and upload a picture of yourself. Please make it of yourself only. In the demographics, you can fill out your date of birth, race, sex, or ethnicity. You can also upload any external website, which is beneficial if you use a website as a portfolio, your Facebook profile, Twitter username, and LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. By filling in this information, you can build a profile on Get Connected that your peers at Mason can see. This is beneficial to any employers or contacts on Mason's campus, especially with LinkedIn, where people can find you, connect with you, and endorse your skills. <clears throat> Additionally, this is a place where you can make sure you receive any communication from Get Connected. This page is especially important as a student leader. In order to make sure that your organization is active on Get Connected, the pages and features must be used this is extremely important when you are re-registering your organization. The message of your approval or denial comes through Get Connected. If you do not have notifications sent to your email, you may miss an important deadline to receive this communication. For bench painting application or distinguished quill award applications, you want to click System Inbox and Email. The message of your approval or denial comes through Get Connected. If you do not have notifications sent to your email, you may miss an important deadline to receive this communication. The other notifications are important to help your organization be active on Get Connected. You can also have a message texted to your phone so that you're up to date and making sure that any communication on Get Connected is being received. It is important for organizations to update their events on Get Connected because it allows students to add the event to their involvement record. Here you can view your current memberships and add any past members. An involvement record allows a student to see what memberships they have, events that they have been to, experiences and interests, as well as any service hours they have completed. You can access your organization re-registration application if it has been denied. An involvement record allows a student to modify by hiding and sorting activities on their record based on relevance. Here you can make sure that events and organizations are modified by your interests. Any service hours you have completed. Any submissions that you have completed by clicking on Organization Registrations. Here you can access your involvement record. 
You can add and sort your information that you, so that you can have an accurate representation of your involvement on campus. <clears throat> an involvement record allows a student to modify by hiding and sorting activities on their record based on relevance. The Home button, Events, Organizations, and Campus Links button are now located at the top of the screen next to your name. One place you'll want to be familiar with is the Organizations tab. One of the most important features of Get Connected as an organization leader is the ability to re-register your organization. During spring re-registration, this is one of the areas that you will find the button to click Register Your Organization. It will be located underneath your organization name. Re-registration for all organizations occurs in the spring for the next academic year's registration. For 2016 spring registration, registration will be open on March 14th and close on May 1st. This is phase one of re-registration and applies to the 2016-2017 year. Please keep in mind that all organizations must hold their elections by April 15, 2016. In order to prepare for re-registration and for student involvement to have the most up-to-date contacts for your organization. If you do not see the button under your organization name for March 14 to May 1st, you need to contact the RSO lead team immediately. This button is also located on the organizations page. It is extremely important for you to update your organization's profile picture. This is a requirement for student organizations. It is also important for your organization to have a header picture. This will give other students an accurate representation of your organization and entice them to reach out and join. As you can see, having a profile picture on your page helps to populate your student organization page. Another person can literally see who belongs to the organization. It is extremely important for your primary contact, roster, and positions to be as up-to-date as possible. This is how student involvement, interested students, and others will contact your organization. If this information is not accurate, your organization will not receive the necessary communication regarding new members, opportunities, and important deadlines. At the top is where your organization can fill in the necessary news, events, roster, picture gallery, or documents. Now we'll show you how to manage your org page. This is how you can invite people to confirm their membership or send messages to your entire group. This helps you to keep an updated list of members and message all of them without having to have a list serv. This will ensure that you always have their contacts names, and ability to communicate with them. Now we'll go over how to manage roster. Click on roster at the top, then manage roster. As an executive member of your organization, you will also have access to edit your org's roster and assign members positions within the organization. You can add, delete, or edit users on this page and send messages to all members. All rosters must be accurately updated by September 15, 2015 and February 15, 2016 for the 2015-2016 school year. Here is where you are able to edit the positions of people in your organization and this is especially important if any position changes occur outside of re-registration. In order to make sure that student involvement is communicating with the right people, this must always be up to date. Remember, as an outgoing president or executive board member, it is extremely important to make sure the new president and other exec board members are updated here on Get Connected. Press Save if you've made any changes. Once you assign the position, it will appear automatically. This is where you can see the names of people that you have invited to join your organization. And the Pending tab consists of people you've invited to join the group on Get Connected. This is where you can see members who have requested to join your organization. You can approve or deny them here. The Prospective tab shows who's clicked on your button, where the membership requests reside. You can approve or deny their membership here. 
You can also change who the primary contact for your organization is by clicking the pencil button next to the primary contact box. Type in the name of the contact and click select on the left hand side. It is important for your roster to be up to date on Get Connected. Unless a person is considered a member of your organization, they will not appear on this list and cannot be listed as an executive board member or the primary contact. Lastly, we'll show you how to create an event on Get Connected. So click on Events at the top. All major events requiring a checklist must be turned into an event on Get Connected, as well as in order to obtain a signature from the Program Coordinator of Student Involvement. Get Connected is a great advertising tool as it increases exposure to your event and allows users to look up your event and its details on Get Connected itself. Click on Create an Event. Click on Create an Event at the top, then Create an Event. So you will add information to the form, such as title, date, location, etc. So, today we're going to create an event for the Get Connected to Mason Fair during Welcome Week. So go ahead and type in the name of your event. Next, choose a, an app theme that is most appropriate. <clears throat> Scroll down and provide a description that will encourage people to come to your event. It is important to provide as many details as possible so that people will want to attend. Next, detail date or dates of your event with the actual start time and end time of your event. And be mindful of the AM and PM time choices. You can also add other dates if your event goes longer than one day or if you have an event that repeats. Then enter your location for the event. Please keep in mind that you must detail building and room number for the event. You can even add a helpful map to help your participants find your location. You must click yes or no to the map option. Next, you need to decide the audience of the event. Anyone in the world makes this a public event. Keep in mind that if you make it only available to the Mason community that your event will not be seen if someone is not logged into their account on Get Connected. Next, choose an event category that is most appropriate for your event. Then, who can RSVP to your event? If there are any perks to your event, please choose an option. Otherwise, you can leave it blank. Please remember, you must attach a visual image to your event. One of the most important changes to the interface of Get Connected is that the supported file types of the flyer have been expanded. In order to help Get Connected be the most informed, it is best for any image that is uploaded to not have any text on it. If you do not want to upload an image, you can just click Skip. Just keep in mind that your event will not be included on the main page of Get Connected or on University Life websites. After you have double-checked the details you have entered, you can click Next or Skip. As an RSO, you will always choose the Registered Student Organization option, then click Next. <clears throat> if you need to edit any information, you can do that on this page. As a best practice, you want to allow attendance at this event to be shown on the involvement record. And then don't forget to submit your event. If you do not include an image, the organization event will show up like this. This is where you can view RSVPs, other submissions, manage invitations, track attendance, and change any details. Remember that Get Connected is the best way to manage your organization, receive communication, and connect with students who could be members of your organization. 
Keeping it up to date should be a top priority for your organization. That's all for today, so please email rso at gmu.edu if you have any further questions.